Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. It's been a couple of weeks. Um, I got, oh, I don't know, three, four days growth. Um, well, the equivalency of went a little longer than that uh, due to a sinus infection. <laughs> um, I ain't gotten a break. I just ain't getting one. But anyways, um, this is my 4th of July shave. Um, happy 4th of July, everybody. I hope you all are doing well. Um, I hope when you celebrate the 4th that everybody stays safe. Anyways, so we're going to do a good old-fashioned red, white, and blue shave. Um, so let's take a look at the red. Second quarter, 1956 Gillette Red Tip. Um, the blade in it is a blade I've never used. I received it with a bunch of other blades in that package I got last year from Dennis. Um, and they, it is a Gillette 7 o'clock stainless. Came in a green box I've never used. The seven o'clock blades, as far as I know, that would make it the Gillette Green. Um, the brush, the PAA Solar Flare. The handle design is based off of the Erskine E250, but what makes it white is the knot. It is the uh, Douglas's White Nexus Knot. And the blue. Um, it's a wonderful soap, love the scent of it, and it is Razor Rock What the Puck Blue Barbershop. And I got it here in this little lather bowl I also got from Dennis. Uh, wonderful smelling soap, it is triple milled. It's like, I don't know, you can get pretty much all of the what the pucks for like under 20 bucks so darn good price and we'll be topping the, the shave off with the razor rock blue barbershop splash so let's go ahead and whip the knot and um get loading the knot of course synthetic so you don't have to soak it So, anyways, I hope y'all have been well. Um, the reason why I put the blue, the what the puck in this bowl is because instead of trying to load off the puck in the little plastic tin, in the little plastic tub they send, um, for me it's just easier to do it this way. Get a little water on my brush. But yeah, like I said, had a sinus infection. Um, Going to be having a video appointment with a doctor. Not my normal doctor. Um, different doctor. Um, but same office on Wednesday. Because uh, several days ago. I was kicking back in my chair. And my sinus wasn't hurting. Um, but then my nose started running on the right side and as it started running, I smelt the best way I can describe it is if you've ever had potatoes go bad and I'm not talking just where you grab the potato and the skin is kind of wrinkly and you know, it's sprouting, um, out of the eyes and it's kind of spongy and it's like oh I need to use the you know, I need to get rid of these but if you've ever smelled a potato that has gone so bad to where it just has this 
reek to it. Anyways, let me wipe the face. That's the scent I was picking up. Um, definitely not a scent you would want in a shaving soap or after shave. Um, pretty disgusting. Oh, the knot in this. This white Nexus knot is 24 mil. God, this soap smells so good. Um, it's described as a barbershop fougere. But, um, yeah, and I have, I'd have to get up. Um, oh, but a barbershop fusier on the soap, and it just, it smells really, really nice. But, um, yeah, so anyways, I got up, I went and blew my nose, and that rotten potato scent was gone. And it didn't come back until uh, whatever it was discharged the next time. And then I'd pick up that scent again and it was just, it's, it's been disgusting. It's been nasty. It's been gross. Um, so yeah. A little bit more water on the brush. So, not fun, not fun at all. I normally don't go for big voluminous lathers on my face. If you've watched my channel for a while, you know that. Because um, me, well, I can't get the joy that some might see in a big old Santa Claus beard hanging on their face. Um, and me, well, I just don't want to put that much work into a lather. So... I figure, I think in the next shave, well, yeah, next shave video, I think I'm going to start using straights again. It's been a while since I've used one. Um, what the blade. First pass with the 7 o'clock green. Oh, it's pretty nice. Took it down pretty good. Man, I know people loves 4th of July. I like 4th of July. Um,
But I'll tell you what, ever since the fireworks stands here where I live opened up for the holiday for the fourth. Um, people's been shooting off fireworks all day, all through the night. Um, I suffer pretty much from chronic insomnia, like it's almost one o'clock in the morning here right now, the morning of the fourth. One moment so I can rinse off. But, uh, drink size water. But, um, I just, like, right before I rinsed off, I heard somebody off in the distance popping off the firework, popping off a couple of fireworks. And,. We got somebody around this area that likes to shoot mortar style fireworks, which unless you're with the county fire department and you're putting on a show or a company that does it, um, here in California, you're not supposed to have those. Um, I mean, they're, it's, they're big ones. They're big ones. I mean, when they blow, I mean, they sound like a damn bomb going off. And the thing is, I don't even know if they're actually, well, they could be actually going up and bursting and showing some really cool stuff. I don't know. But, <sighs> my dogs, they don't like it. Um, you know, most people around here, you know, most towns they have on Facebook, they have, you know, pages for their area. And, um, A lot of people ain't happy with whoever does the big mortars cross scrub. Nice. And we've got whole lot of veterans here where I live here in the county um, got a lot of patriotic folk around here and you know um, I've seen people sitting there saying hey my husband or my wife they're vets, or they're a vet, and um, who's ever shooting the fireworks off, the big mortars off. Um, uh, it's given my spouse a hard time. But, you know, people are people and sometimes they do what they're going to do. So, <sighs> just, if you want to celebrate the 4th, hey, celebrate the 4th, 
on the day of the fourth, like everybody else. Um, all right, cross screen is done. Very nice. One moment so I can rinse off. All right, yeah, cross growth is down. Let's go ahead and let's just do a quick paint on. Yeah, um, I'll do this last pass with this blade, but it's not like I've just been wet shaving for, you know, a couple of times. I've wet shaved quite a lot in the past, what, eight years? <laughs> done a lot of shaves so my technique is down pretty good and um, I'm not pressing down on the razor any more than what's necessary to make contact with the skin and uh, it feels like I might be getting some damn irritation oops a little bit of soap on my shirt and it's not the soap I know that being you know not being slick enough I know some of you are probably like if you're getting irritation why the hell are you going against grain um, either I'm a glutton for punishment or it's just how I roll. So we'll see how long the irritation lasts. If it's just something that will pass in a few minutes after, you know, and pretty much chill out after I apply the Pope shape probably has been cool. Um, I mean the blade's not rough, it's not, it's not, it don't feel rough. It's not tuggy. It's not an uncomfortable blade to use. It just I don't know. Hang on guys, my guide is whining. One sec, let me, one sec here. Carl's in, no. I'll be out in a minute, buddy. Tea done. The side's done good. One moment, go and rinse off, and then I'll check and see if I need to do any pickups. Here we go. Vanilla custard. Tasty stuff. Alright. Try to go tea. Feels like I got it good. A little bit right there. I used to like Nick Shays when he did his lather mittens.
Maybe I'll use Melly Mel's trick of nice cube rub after uh, a poche cool the skin a little. been quite a little bit right there and it's still some sleepiness. There we go. And yeah, I came across this soap I forgot I even had. I'll use it in my next shave. It's um Sterling's Eucalyptus and Mint. Um, it was one of the soaps Dennis sent down last, last box he sent last year. Um, there we go. All right. Um, there we go. And it looks like I am done. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and rinse off good and proper. I'll be back for the alum. Anyways, so let's grab the alum here. Yeah, the other night, it was about midnight. Uh, I'm sitting in my chair. My girlfriend, she was out of town working. She got in um, yesterday. But anyways, um, oh yeah, irritation. Irritation, irritation. Not too bad on the cheeks, but ooh. The neck, yeah. Not cool. <laughs> but blades are subject subjective. Some blades agree with some people. And they'll say, it's the greatest blade in the world. And other people will be like, that blade absolutely sucks. Or some people be like, that blade absolutely sucks. And other people be like, you bumped your head, bro. It's a great blade. Um, all right. There we go. But anyways, so I'm sitting in my chair the other night. And it was 12-something night. And we have a security screen door. And uh, it was locked. But the front door was open. And my, our Queensland healer Dottie, our Queensland healer mix Dottie, she starts growling. And then I hear a doorknob jiggling. One moment, guys, I'm gonna rinse off and I'll be back for the post. So anyways, I hear a doorknob jiggling and I'm like, all right, what in the hell is going on? So, me, Either be in um, brave or stupid. I don't know what it was. Um, or just me being, you know, basic male. I stand up and I walk over. I mean, it's not like I was sitting there in the dark. I had a lamp on and I was listening to an audio book actually about King Cam Gillette. But, um, oh, ice cube rub. Let's see how this does. Oh, that feels pretty nice. Oh, yeah, I think I'm going to incorporate this into my shaving. Oh, yeah, that feels really good, actually. Um, Melly, or Mel, if you ever see this. Nice. No, it feels really good. Oh, that feels really good. There we go. But anyways, so I walk over and as I approach the door, I realize that it was somebody jiggling my neighbor's door, which the way my apartment set up, um, their living room and my living room is divided by a wall so our front doors are close by one another 
So I walk up and I'm all, can I help you? And, cause I figured if it was one of the neighbors, they'd be like, you know, see me and go, hey neighbor. Cause that's how they do. Um, they're, they're, they're Hispanic and um, they see me and they're like, hey neighbor, how's it going? Good guys, real good guys, great neighbors. Um, gentleman used to be him and his brother and his brother moved out and now it's him and his nephew, his nephew's in high school so he's staying there with his uncle. But anyways, I figured one of them would have said hello and and I hear this this voice like of some guy, he's all um yeah I'm I'm or he said an address that was what was like way way far I mean my address is you know above a thousand the address he want, want or they mentioned was in the hundreds I'm not sure it's either Dove or something or other no I was going to do this after my head shape but oh well but uh he gives him his number and I'm all, no, that ain't this. And I tell him what this address was. And I point to the apartment, single apartment in the middle. Because it's like a squared C. And so I tell him what that address is. And then I point across the way. Over to the side where my mom lives. And I give the number for her building. And I said, you're way off. You do not belong here. Oh, oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm sorry. And, and he like rushes away real quick. Um, so I told my neighbor today, I saw him and I'm like, hey, man. I let him know and he's like, oh, thank you. Thank you so much um, for looking out. I was like, of course, man. I sit there, my dog starts growling. I hear a doorknob jiggling. Um, I'm going to take a look. <laughs> I'm like, no problem, man. I ever see anybody at your door that don't belong there? I'm saying something. He went, yeah, thanks. I'm like, no problem. Oh, it feels good. I'm not sure what it was, either Dove or one of my other, or my bulldog. I'm not sure. I think it might. No, I think it was my Dove. For man, I need to get some new Nivea. So, that was fun. Now it is time for the aftershave. Give it a good shake. It's been getting quite warm here luckily. Our heat wave we just had, which was pushing us up 108, 109, 110. That finally broke and we're today was actually in the upper 80s, which made me very, very happy. Alright guys. Um my thoughts. The razor did great. Blade, not quite as great as I had hoped. But we'll see what happens after all this kicks in. Um, might be a mistake putting alcohol. God, this Razor Rock Blue Barbershop aftershave has an amazing scent. Um. So anyways, guys. Yeah, that's the shave. Oh, my final thoughts. The razor did great. The blade, not as good as I hope. The brush, great brush. Douglas always makes pretty decent brushes. Um, quite good looking brushes as well. 
the Razor Rock Blue Barbershop soap and splash absolute hits in my opinion anyways guys so that's the video likes comments subscriptions always appreciate and if you do subscribe go ahead and smash that uh, or you know click on all notifications that way you get notified whenever I go ahead and drop a new video my email address is in my about section anyways y'all take it easy I'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade bye bye now